Closer to home now, work underway at a busy metro station in northwest Washington. A major escalator project began this morning at the Van Ness station, and it's expected to impact commuters for years. Jeanette Reyes has the details that you should know about the project. It's hard to miss the signs plastered all over the Van Ness station, like this one here, warning commuters of what's ahead. That $6.5 million project that'll shut down the west entrance for three years, and eventually they'll move on to these escalators as well. Now, they're about 35 years old, so this is really all about reliability, but there is an inconvenience to the more than 6,000 passengers that take this metro every day. Besides the west entrance being shut down, crews can only work on one escalator at a time and only when the station is closed to customers. Now, that is for safety reasons, but each unit will take about 40 weeks and the project itself a total of three years. Elevators will be available at all times, but upstairs there will be a significant increase in pedestrian traffic, and that's where the problem comes in, according to some residents here. People crossing a very busy Connecticut Avenue. One resident tells me it's not only inconvenient, but it's unsafe. So we thought we, that they at least wait until the construction of the street is over and that sidewalk reopens so it doesn't force many people to cross Connecticut. The escalators break down all of the time, but I know that they have to do something because it's not safe. Now this is one of the traffic signal pedestrians are hoping DDOT will extend to give them time to cross. We put in a call to DDOT to confirm whether or not that is the case. Reporting in Northwest, Jeanette Reyes, ABC 7 News.